Hey guys, this is Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And today we got the EK Nucleus All in One RGB Cooler. It's a CR360 DRGB White. This bad boy is a beast, supposedly. We are going to do an unboxing of this and installing it in my 13700K. Now, I had a previous cooler, which died, and it was the Animax Lickmax 3 360. But I'm not going to endorse that product at all anymore because of the failure that it had. I could have destroyed my CPU. So anyway, I actually have an Assassin tower on it now, an Assassin 120 uh, Assassin cooler on it, tower, and it, it works like garbage. It's just something temporarily, just so I can still use the machine, but I've had it multiple times border or actually hit 100C and uh, throttle down so the CPU got extremely hot. Alright, so this is the presentation of it. Welcome packet. This one is only push or pull. There's one fan, two fans, three fan, radiator, and the pump. So just so you know, it is pre-pasted. I'm not really too keen on that. And this is the hardware for the mounting. Alright, so it's a it's a cool looking looks nice. The connections is, uh, are solid. That's like a dumb thing. There's plastic on here that's got to come off. Stupid, stupid thing. I don't think that's supposed to stay on because it actually had an area to actually take it off. And I don't have any nails to begin with. So this is more of a chore. Holy crap, I told you that was complicated. <laughs> There's no reason for that. All right, so let's get this installed. Um, I'm going to try to record this. It's a kind of a everybody's experience with something like this is going to be different for everyone. But what we're just going to do, I'm just going to do the installation and I'm going to see what the cooling differences are um, because I couldn't believe in how hot it got with this cooler that I have in here now, which is designed for the CPU and it actually overheated. Going to get this bad boy installed and then we're going to do some benchmarks and see how well it cools. It. Let's go to the demonstration. So top right, top left, so I guess we'll have this angle instead so it'll be easier. So I mean there may be a little bit of a glare, I apologize, um, but you can see the, the temperature. I will have um, this in a mini view here so you can actually see the temperature I mean the, the visual temperature and the game itself playing at the same time and uh, I'm completely impressed you should be able to overclock no problem with this uh, so let's see what we need let's actually play the game all right so I've got some uh, clothing on that's going to keep me warm which is great. I've actually died a couple of times. <laughs> and, uh... <clears throat> this is impressive. Really impressive. Holy macaroni. I will have a link in the description below to purchase this. I wasn't expecting it to be this... this incredible. So what we're doing is we are grabbing uh, flint and stone so we can um, so we can create gunpowder for our gun because as you can see we only have 18 rounds in our rifle. Um, I finally built fabricator and I don't need food so you know what let me go to this. Some stone here. <sighs> yep, 
Yeah, we cheat a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, I'm an ARC, huge ARC player. I've been playing ARC for a number of number of years. I actually run my own ARC server on the old version. This happens to be the new version. Um, it's actually pretty impressive. The graphics on this is insane. And it's cooling incredibly well. I've never expected this to be anywhere near in the 50C range. Ever. I, I'm, I'm actually blown away. 48C. Wow. That's crazy. See, now it turned yellow. So we're like in the 54 range. Now we're back down again. I'm not really... It's like crazy. Usually, sometimes it goes it goes in the red. The majority of the time, this game is in the red. But yeah, it's um pretty good, pretty good game. Um, we're trying to get oil and stuff too, so sometimes these creatures come up, we can get some oil. What was that? But yeah, the graphics are insane. So I have this set to uh, like full bore. Um, this is like completely maxed out. Um, full screen, 3440 by 1480, ultra wide screen. That's the maximum this resolution can go, uh, this monitor. Um, everything's on epic. And the resolute, uh, and the and the frames per second, I'm getting like 38, 30, 39. I'm happy with that. I'm not gaming with people, I'm not. And uh, it's smooth as silk. And the graphics are incredible. I'm not going to complain. This is a this is impressive. I'm very I'm liking this a lot. This is a great purchase. Thank you, uh, Brad, for my Facebook group for telling me about this cooler. It's fantastic. So guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time.